Hey guys, Mr. Mindbox here from the Railroad Philosophy Productions channel, and today we're going to do another train broadcast. Now, my other train broadcasts, I did call them train documentaries until Alex the historian told me that they were not documentaries, they were actually broadcasts, and, well, you know, if you guys know what I mean. Alright, but today is going to be another train broadcast, and this time we're going to talk about the history of Southern Railway's streamlined steam locomotives. And I must say, these type of locomotives, as the one you see here, they're really amazing. <laughs> I've never seen those before. I started discovering one of these locomotives on one of the Saluda documentary things about the North Carolina Transportation Museum. I'm pretty sure you rail fans would have seen it. And I was amazed. But anyways, let's go and talk about the Southern Railway Streamline Steam Locomotives. And here it says, The Southern Railway's Class PS4 Pacific number 1380 which is the locomotive you see here, it was built by Alco Locomotive Works in 1923. It was streamlined in 1941 by Otto Cutler for use on the Tennessean train which connected New York with Memphis, Tennessee. And yeah, this train did pull the Tennessean and the, and the Crested Limited. Yeah. And there's a photo of it pulling the, the, the Tennessean train, I'll show you that. And here we have the the Southern Railway Streamliners pulling the Tennessean, which is a train that ran from Washington, D.C. to Memphis, Tennessee. And it pulled the Crested Limited as well from somewhere. I don't really know where the Crested Limited goes to. And now let's talk about the engine's design. Now, the, the design of the locomotive, people do say that it's really similar to the Norfolk and Western Class J streamline locomotive designs and this was before the Roanoke shops did the did the Norfolk and Western class J locomotive designs and here we have a photo of the Norfolk and Western class J611 which is one of the streamline locomotives the 611 was built in the Roanoke shops in May of 1950 and it was used to pull the Pocahontas the Cavalier and the Politan Arrow <laughs> so yeah the the Southern Railway stream Line locomotives design were exactly like the 611 design, so I'm assuming that's how Roanoke got that design straight from the Southern Railway version. And also, when the when they made the Southern Railway Streamline locomotives, they made them articulated version. And here you have this one of it in articulated form. It has two sets of drive wheels, which is pretty amazing. I don't know if this photo is, is real or not, but I'm pretty sure it is because it looks real to me. But yeah, they started doing art, articulated versions. And also how the Southern Railway Streamline locomotives came to be. Well, the idea is simple. When the Southern Railway had some 462 steam locomotives that were used on the Crest of Women and all sorts of Southern Railway trains, they started to make them streamline type, and so they brought them to... The Spencer Shops in Spencer, North Carolina, a.k.a. the North Carolina Transportation Museum in Spencer, North Carolina. And they started taking those 462 locomotives, they, t they brought them here, and made them into streamlined form. Which is this type of locomotive. And you can see that it says on the Tennessean. So yeah, these trains were, like I said, these trains were used to pull the Tennessean and the, and the Crescent, Crescent Limited. And, and guys, that's pretty much it on the history of the Southern Railway Streamline Steam Locomotives. Like I said, they brought the 462s into the Spencer shops and made them streamline type. That were used to pull the Tennessee and in the Press Unlimited. And let me guys know what you thought of this podcast. It was the best I can I can do. And too bad they didn't save one of these locomotives. All of them were scrapped, by the way. It would have been great if they saved the 1380, which is this locomotive here. That would be awesome, and it could be used on the Norfolk Southern Steam, Pro Steam Program. Let me guys know what you think about this locomotive, and if agree that if there, if one of them were saved, would it be used for the Norfolk Southern Steam Program, and probably run alongside the other Southern Steam locomotives and the 611? Let me guys know about your thoughts of it in the comments below. That's the end of this train podcast and if you are interested in minecraft go to my first channel mr mind blocks where you can check all that out i guess that's the end of this train podcast i'll see you next time bye